Hi guys, welcome back. So today we will be seeing the basic parameters of an antenna. In the previous video we saw what basically an antenna is. But this antenna will have a certain basic parameters that we have to keep in our minds. First, let us start with the first parameter that we will be discussing which is the antenna efficiency. So what basically is the efficiency of an antenna? How can we say that an antenna is efficient? So let us imagine this as a particular antenna. So let us assume that this is the portion where the entire circuitry is present and let us assume this is the portion where the antenna transmits the radio electromagnetic wave. So this is the transmission part and this is the circuit part. So here at this portion there will be a particular electrical signal and this electrical signal is converted into an electromagnetic wave and is transmitted from this direction. So what can I say the efficiency of this antenna is? This, the efficiency of this antenna is how much power is radiated out of the antenna when compared to the power of the electric signal that comes into this antenna. As simple as that. And hence here I have written it is a measure of how much power is radiated by the antenna relative to the antenna's input power. That is basically what the efficiency of an antenna is. So the antenna efficiency or the radiation efficiency can be written as a ratio of radiated power to the input power. So this is basically the expression for the efficiency of an antenna that is the radiated power to the input power. So that basically is antenna efficiency. So now the second parameter that we are going to see is antenna gain. In the first parameter we saw the efficiency of the antenna. So from that we understood the fact that a particular antenna is required to transmit electromagnetic waves in a particular direction. That is the direction through which that antenna is intended to transmit data. So if this antenna is intended to transmit data in this direction, then there is no point in it transmitting data in the upward, downward, on the side directions or towards the back. Because this antenna is required to transmit data in this direction. So antenna gain is a measure of the power that is radiated in a particular direction, which is typically the peak direction of radiation. That is antenna gain. So gain is the antenna gain has an expression given by 4 pi into the radiation intensity divided by input power. That is basically antenna gain. Now the next parameter is directivity. So what is actually directivity? So it is simply a measure of how directional an antenna's radiation pattern is. That is for instance if an antenna radiates in all the directions that is it radiates in all directions possible and it does not have a particular direction through which it radiates then it would have effectively zero directionality that is it doesn't have a particular direction to which that particular antenna transmits because it transmits in all directions and therefore the directivity of such kind of an antenna would be said to be 1 or 0 dB. So this basically is directivity. That is directivity is simply but a measure of how directional an antenna's radiation pattern is. And an antenna that radiates equally in all directions would have effectively zero directionality and the directivity of this antenna would therefore be 1 or 0 dB. That is simply directivity of an antenna. So guys, now the fourth parameter that we are going to see is wave polarization. So all electromagnetic waves has got a particular polarization. So it might be linearly polarized, circularly polarized or elliptically polarized. So what does this mean? Linearly polarized means that the electromagnetic wave simply moves in a straight line. But if it is circularly polarized, what does that mean? That the electromagnetic waves moves in a circle towards wherever it is going. What is an elliptically polarized electromagnetic waves? It moves in the shape of an ellipse. So all electromagnetic waves would have an associated polarization. It may be linear, circular or elliptically polarized. Okay, so the, now the final parameter that we are going to see is radiation resistance. So what is radiation resistance? So imagine this as an antenna. As we saw, when a particular input current is given to this side of the antenna, an output radiation happens. When comparing the input power and the output power, there would be a difference. That is, amount of electromagnetic waves that is radiated outwards would have a comparatively lesser power when compared to the input of the antenna. So let us assume that this particular antenna is replaced by a particular resistor. So let us assume that this is now a resistor. So when that particular input current is given to this resistor, 
the value of this resistance so that the output of this resistance is the same as the output power of the electromagnetic wave which is transmitted by the antenna is referred to as radiative resistance as simple as that that is if we replace a particular antenna by a resistor then what is the value of that resistor by which we can get the same exact output power that we used to get when we had that particular antenna and when a particular input current was given to it that is what you mean by radiative resistance so it is the value of resistance that would dissipate the same amount of power as radiated as the radio waves by the antenna with the antenna input current passing through it this value of resistance is referred to as radiation resistance so these are the basic parameters of a particular antenna so thank you guys for watching this video we will be discussing more topics towards the following videos of this session thank you